Hi guys, short video on my investment plan uh, for crypto. It's still going sideways, uh, still at 10K uh, Bitcoin core, um, Bitcoin cash at $300 and Ethereum around 200, 190. Um, and um, this is my beautiful little girl here. She's uh, growing nine months now and learning to talk. So you might hear some of that. Um, but um, I changed a little bit the investment plan here. Uh, I removed the step uh, testing the bottom. If you remember, I was planning to buy there also around $3,500. I removed that and I added another step uh, higher. Uh, so that step was between this and this. I removed that one, but I added one step higher than my first buy-in target. This was my first buy-in target, but actually I raised that to this target. And I've switched between that uh, back and forth uh, in the past. Um, this is going to be a little bit difficult if she's ta talking also. <laughs> eh? So how can you uh, silence a baby? That's a good question. Uh, toys may do that. Um, but once I start talking, she starts talking too. That's a little problem. Hmm? I think I got it. <laughs> Let's hope that works. So this is the golden retrace uh, called by Kevin Svensson. Uh, make sure to follow his channel because uh, even though he was wrong, uh, at the bottom, previous one of 3,150, he thought it would go lower. I was very convinced of that based on volume. That did not happen. Uh, it went up. Uh, and I, I, I followed his lead too much there. Um, uh, I shouldn't have. Uh, but I can't blame it on him. Uh, I also saw other other things in the market, as mentioned in previous videos, why I thought that was not the bottom. But um, Kevin Svensson has done overall very well uh, because, like me, uh, he was uh, bearish. Uh, the whole year 2018 uh, and only uh, started buying once it went below 6,000 around even below 5,000 uh, I think his first buy was around 4,500 so uh, also where I started uh, where I bought a lot and he continued to buy I think somewhere I think his average price must have been around $4,000 and he invested about 30-40% of his portfolio he was planning to invest a lot more but then it went up and, and it's just similar as me. And I, he's the only other investor that I know that shares how much he's investing in crypto. Uh, although the percentages, his actual buys, he only shares with uh, Patreon uh, supporters. But, but also what he did very well was, was, was uh, 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 selling. Like he sold half of his stash that he bought, about 30-40%. And then it went up a lot, probably to around, I want I, I suspect it went to about 80% exposure in his portfolio because then it went up from 4,000 to 12,000 or 13,000. So he went to, to, from about, to about 80% exposure and then he sold half around 13,000. Uh, he did that very well. Um, uh, so, 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 um, his track record starts, um, in 2018, in January, February, March, when he started making videos, uh, that were bearish. And uh, he did very well overall. So I think he's worth following. And and um, he talks about the golden retrace. He thinks that's very likely to happen. Uh, that's around 7,500. And interestingly enough, this is also uh, at current valuations would also mean that we have about 35% undervaluation. That's also the point where I recommend, and I have also decided in the past to go to a majority exposure uh, in crypto, uh, I, I did that once already when we reached at the first time um, here uh, uh, in December. Uh, I did that, I went to majority exposure, but I sold it back off later, which I shouldn't have done, I think. Uh, but okay, uh, uh, we might get a second chance for that. Um, he thinks it has a high probability. Uh, to go to do that golden retrace 
look at his videos what that exactly is i think it's, uh it has some kind of number uh, that very often like you have uh, in in the history of bitcoin these kind of corrections were very very common is it 40 percent or 60 percent correction i don't know exactly the number but uh but he thinks it's very likely to happen uh, and, and this is the point where i think you should and i will uh, correct the mistakes i've made in the past which is first of all go to majority exposure i do think if you reach 35 percent under valuation that is justified because uh, that's a, a safe margin as i've uh, explained in previous videos uh we went to a, a, an undervaluation of 70 percent in the previous bear market uh so so if we go to half of that um i mean you're never sure how deep how low something goes but looking at the past uh it's very likely to reach half of that we did that once but it's very likely we're gonna do that again and um and and and, and that's the point where i think it's wise to go to majority exposure crypto uh, and inversely in the future uh in a bull market previous bull market we went to an overvaluation of um 730 percent so i think in the next bull market you want to go to a like an, a minority exposure when you reach half of that when you reach about uh, 350 percent overvaluation in the next bull market that's also on the chart i will put the link below uh, in the next bull market i think that's also a safe margin where you should scale down crypto eh? but that's in the far future probably um but for now in this bear market it's wise to go at this point uh, at the majority allocation uh, and we are likely going to see that again uh, even if a strong bull market has started a strong bull market uh, like we have seen only once before uh, in uh, 2013 where we just had a bull market here uh, and um uh, 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 only six months later, uh, we, we we go back into a new. I uh, we go from two hundred fifty to fifty dollars, and we go up to thousand dollars like very quickly. Another bull market. Some people think that will happen here, and so in twenty nineteen, uh, because of the very strong rally we've seen from three thousand to thirteen thousand, is of course an extremely strong rebound. If it would be a rebound, it could also be uh, the start of a new bull market. I think. Chances are low for that, but there is, of course, a small chance for it. In that case, he still thinks this is likely to happen, such a, such a correction. So um, that's a good point to correct your mistakes. In my case, my mistake is that, well, I should go to majority exposure, but I also should be investing in Ethereum because I've never invested in Ethereum. Uh, I mean, a previous bull market, yes, but I haven't had Ethereum since. and. I do think uh, the winner takes all in crypto uh, is certainly a possible scenario, uh, actually probable uh, that in 10 years time, the, the biggest coin takes like 60% of the market uh, and it won't be Bitcoin Core. Huh? Uh, it's another coin uh, because Bitcoin Core is losing lots of market share very quickly, even though it's now at 70% peaking out, it's very unlikely to reach the old highs and it's more, very likely to go down again and and, and uh, yeah you've seen the pattern in the past it's likely to continue so so ethereum is really a strong contender to become not only the market leader but to dominate the market uh, for many many decades so 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 i don't have any exposure there uh, and this is something the first thing i should correct i already bought bitcoin cash at 250 dollars a big stash i still have that even though i sold half I have about 43% exposure now, most of it Bitcoin Cash. So I have a big stash there, but I don't have Ethereum. So that's my uh, thing that I need to correct. The value? The value? Uh, yeah. Eh? Um, uh, so looking forward to that. Um, and uh, I hope it happens, but it's very likely to happen. Uh, and um, yeah, I think that would be a good first step to buy. Uh, and the second step is still the same. Watch my previous videos why I think it's very likely to reach a 55% undervaluation in a Trollo chart. Huh? Uh, that's very likely to reach because we reached it before. Huh? In, in previous bear markets, uh, we always went to uh, 
higher undervaluations over time. Huh? Even if the bull market started in 2011, huh? for example, the bull market started, but we still made higher undervaluations over time. Uh, this is, of course, also still very likely, though not certain, of course, uh, if we are indeed in this scenario of 2013, uh, then actually, no, we don't make new lows in undervaluation because the low was reached here when 250 went to $50. But there was no new undervaluation compared to the trend line. It only went up. So so, so this is possible, but not probable. Um, uh, much more probable is that, yeah, we did start... Why? Like, I think it's like 70% probable that we will reach 55% undervaluation because it will still happen even if we're in a bull market. And that would mean that we go to price above 5,000 for Bitcoin, 200 uh, for Bitcoin Cash and 100 for Ethereum. That's my first uh, point, uh, my second point to buy and I would buy more Bitcoin Cash. And my third point is um, when we reach the undervaluation of uh, 80, uh, an, a new high in undervaluation. The, the one moment. I think she will join the, 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 the session here. Um, uh, I think there's still a 40% chance to reach a new low, a new bottom. And once you do that, you go to half of previous high, 3,100, could buy 2,500, 600. Uh, I think there's still a good chance for that to be reached. And that will be my third and final buy, where I increase my exposure first to 51%, 60 and then 80% exposure. That's it, guys. Uh, I hope uh, it's of value to you. I will, I will, I'll share the sheet below. You can click it. Um, you can copy the sheet and you can play with the numbers. Um, the yellow numbers you can change uh, and then you get uh, all the other numbers changed automatically too. Have a great day. Bye. Dag. 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 Dag, 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 dag. Ja, zeg maar dag, dag, dag.